when you say honesty is the best policy to a kid in school you are validating honesty but more than honesty you are validating policies you are on the side of honesty it is obvious you are saying honesty is the best policy you are educating honesty what we do not notice is that simultaneously we are also educating policy policies and what are policies what are policies policies are alternatives policies are choices i may do this or i may not do this all policies are decisions and you have made honesty into a decision and the moment you say it's my decision to be honest you are saying that i am bigger than honesty i am choosing honesty and i reserve the right to negate it not to choose honesty so all right honesty is big but policy is bigger hmm. whose policy my policy my policy so ultimately who is the biggest me me honesty is big policy is bigger and i am the biggest biggest that's the thing honesty is the best policy yes right good but if it is my policy i am free to change policies tomorrow i may say something else you are still in the mood of comparison it is the best best better good bad worse worst no honesty is not a policy honesty is not a policy honesty is your uncorrupted way of living where there is a direct beautiful movement from the self to the mind from the mind to the thoughts from thoughts to action and that is honesty nothing is getting corrupted at any stage there is no leakage there is no pilferage it it starts as pure essence and ends as pure action it starts as pure essence and ultimately flowers as pure action nothing dilutes it in between time does nothing to it passage does nothing to it it's not a policy it's a way of living it's it's a way of life yes this is dignity in life yes it appears quite dignified when it happens yes if if you want to put that word to it yes you are you are realizing that when you use the word dignity you realized as well as i did that it is not the exact word hmm that there is something lacking in this word yet both of us knew where we are going to that is the thing with words and that is why words start failing in that dimension words start failing you use words but you also realize in that very moment that this word is not fully appropriate this is just a kaam chalao thing so theek let's still use it let honesty not remain a policy let this integrity let this seamless totality where there is no boundary at all become you take away that right from yourself where you say that today i am honest tomorrow i choose me choose to be dishonest take away that right from yourself you are no more privileged to do, do that become helpless become a servant not a master of honesty a servant of honesty i do what he commands i do what he commands kabir called himself das kabir his entire life i am a servant i do his bidding i carry out his instructions whatever is the demand of honesty and there at its service
I have no choice. I have no choice at all. Evolution? Hmm? This is called evolution? This is not evolution in fact. Because evolution means movement in time. This is remaining what you were. This is retaining your innocence. This is retaining your innocence. You do not evolve to become honest. Evolution is not a movement. Uh, honesty is not a movement ahead in time. In fact, if you are interested in using time, just say inverse. it's like going. Huh? Inverse. Yes. There is a word for it. Involution. Involution. Like going back to the mother's womb. Not a journey. You can use it in that sense also. It's an evolution. But it's better expressed when you say it is not evolution. It, it's like driving in the reverse gear. I have come too far ahead. Mm.